Hey, hey, how's it going, YouTube community? It is the Hoff here, and as you can see, we are looking at my car, and this is now stage three. So, what that means is for stage three, you have the COP SF intake, you have the turbo intake piping, and then you have in the back the Cobb uh, electronic boost control solenoid. Um, I do have a blow off valve there, but that doesn't look like it's on the list of the things necessary for the stage three. Then, traveling to the back side of the car, you have to have a full exhaust. By full exhaust, I mean from the turbo back. You can either have a downpipe to test pipe, downpipe to high flow cat or whatever the case may be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this stuff as I did. Then I'm going to take a drive and because it's just me and a cell phone, I don't have any place to hold it up. I am definitely not going to hold it and drive. I'm going to stop the video and then I'll pick it up right where um, I get done and show you what the Cobb access port says. So as you can see, Cobb access port's right there. I turn it on and here are the readings. Now I'm on a stage three off the shelf map. These are definitely not something you want um, to run with too long, but I have a couple other things I need to get done um, besides wanting to add in boost control, or I should say wide band on the side, probably boost on that side, um, from AEM for gauges to be more accurate, because I, I don't know how really accurate these are, but if they are, uh, the wide band air to fill ratio right there does not look good to me, that's way too rich, but I just wanted to see what the readings were, and then what I'll do before I shut the car off. I will go ahead and start up the video again and show you what the readings look like. So right now, idle, that's what the readings are. Now, uh, air temp, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Torque, yeah, I just want to see what it would say. Artery voltage, yeah, that's okay to have. It's the Noxum, the wideband, and the boost that I just wanted to see and then show you guys what it would say off my off the shelf map. Now, as far as my exhaust parts, they're J2 test pipe, down pipe, and the exhaust. So it's not the Cobb setup piping all the way back. But from what they say, that doesn't matter. It matters having those parts. The main part that matters from Cobb is going to be two parts of the SF intake and the piping to the turbo, and then the electronic boost control solenoid. So without further ado, let's jump into the next part. And we're back. So, as you can hear the car is still on. I didn't log the data. I already logged data before. But, let's look at the numbers. So wideband, it never really changes. It goes as low as 10 a lot, which as you see, it went 10 almost right there. And it only goes up as high as 11.8, which to me is not good. That means it's running too rich. Um, and then you see the boost, it goes as low as negative 12.18, which I'm not too concerned about. But according to the notes in the map, it should be as high as 26 and taper down into the teens. And it only gets as high as 22.84, so round up to 23. Not, in my opinion, that great. And then, the calculator torque, if you care to see, it says 450. Take that as a grain of salt. Uh, the boost in the air to fuel ratio, take that as a grain of salt as well. But, I mean, that's what the numbers say on the COP access port tuner. So, we're just going to run with it for now. Um, and then the maximum value, it says it got as high as 3 one time. But that's when you're doing hard pulls. So, I've noticed um, with these tunes that if I do regular pulls, which... Um, are just normal driving it would only get as high as two and it's a rare thing it's not like it happens all the time which that can be safe I think the uh, factory tune runs 
with higher knocks so that's no big deal and when you do hard pulls I think shifting in the low gears really hard can get a knock sum of three when you're in high um, RPM ranges so uh, it's an occasional thing it hasn't gone above three I think one time on my stage two plus map it went to four and I haven't seen it go to four on this map yet but my stage two plus map would sometimes hit a total of 29 PSI according to this. So that was kind of nice, but 22 PSI, I don't know. Maybe it's because the electronic boost controller that they have, boost control solenoid I should say, um, has three ports and it controls boost better and I'm getting more accurate reading. But this to me feels like the RPM power range band is giving me power throughout the RPM whereas before it would kick in the turbo kick in um, and just start pulling you but it wasn't like a steady kick in this feels like a steady kick in if you can understand what I'm saying there so just so you know I am definitely not keeping the off-the-shelf map very long and if you want to support what I do here and support this tune, I can film the tune and everything if you guys want. Just leave the comments below that you want to see filming of the tune and I'll ask the tuner and we're going to try to use the access port tuner so I can flip between any kind of maps or get stuff redone or whatever the case may be. But I have a plan of upgrading the intercooler and then it's going to be working on the tune. I thought of flex fuel, but I'm just not sure because I think you have to upgrade the fuel pump and injectors, and I really don't have the money, but if you guys want to see all that done and you want to support me, I have my donation link down below, and you can always subscribe, which is free to do, and you can always hit that like button, which is free to do as well. So hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, those are some free things anything else like donating to me you can hit the link below for donations and that will go to supporting my uh tune and anything else with this car as of now while i take care of my divorce stuff thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will hit you guys up next time